welcome to another tutorial video. What we're going to be looking at now is an A star answer for the comparing poems and comparative poems. Um, this is uh, a response that you can see as we look through. So you know this band's one to six in the mark scheme. So here this band gets four, four, five, 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 then six, then five, five, then six towards the end. So it, a lot of it's band five. It says all band five, but it's got some fours here. So I guess that the examiner just kind of overall looked back on it and said no it's all about five and then um, it also touches on 6.1 and 6.2 as well so you've got that analysis down in, in other videos so we don't really need to look at that here what I'm really looking for uh, what I really want to kind of show you is a obviously <clears throat> that it's uh you know the kind of things it picks out but more importantly i want to show you like the elements that it picks it's uh, picks a little bit picks up sorry from smile so you actually see that smile will be a benefit to you i'm not doing this for any other reason other than i just want to give rest assured that if you do use this it's going to be useful um but like i said in every other video i've mentioned it if you've got something that you know works that your teacher has taught you and it's not smile then please 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 use that if that's the one you're trained for smile here i'm just giving you because it's what i give to my class and then it might be a, a backup or, or, or a primary source to use for for you if you didn't really understand something from from class but generally i'd stick with what your teacher has taught you um okay so we move on then in both um, The Man Hut by Simon Armitage and Quick Draw by Carolyn and Duffy, the poets use similar language techniques to express characters' feelings. Okay, so in both they use similar. So straight away is actually doing the comparative section. Um, but this section here is just an introduction. We're not getting into detailed quotations, but we're giving an idea that we understand this. So I'm expecting to see touching upon all of this. Sorry, I'm expecting to see some uh, writing that actually touches upon these without actually going into it in detail. The main theme in both these poems is the breakdown of the couple's relationship and the stresses and emotions this breakdown puts the two people under. In the manhunt, Armitage clearly expresses that the couple's relationship has been damaged by the husband's personal experience whilst at war. These experiences have had severe effects on the man's personality and his physical health. This is turn this in turn had an effect on their relationship. Unlike Manhunt, so we got the contrasting evidence there again. So if we got, if I'm adding to the switching phrases, which we may as well for this, if I add to the switching phrase here. So we've got unlike in, and obviously earlier they used similar, similarly. So I'm just adding to the to the bank that we're actually in the last in the last video. Um, unlike Manhunt, Quick Draw, the couple are not in danger of ruining their relationship because of something that has happened to one of them. He is damaged because of the hurtful things they've been saying to each other. Duffy clearly states that one of the reasons for this is due to the use of the mobile phone. Okay, so the similarities linked there. Again, in that, it's, it's very simple. Uh, there's nothing really to, to give huge uh, marks for there. It's just clear. It's concisely written. So you see there, not really getting any is special interest into it's a four it's um you know that's um, just above the middle the structure in manhunt there we go structure so we'll actually give structure here a point just so you can remind yourself of that the structure get rid of this. the structure in manhunt is used for a particular outcome the continuous use of the short two line stanzas not only reflects the fragility and weakness of the relationship it also shows the wife's something actions to but to try and comfort her husband. The broken up look of the poem implies that the couple's relationship has been ripped to pieces and the couple are trying to piece it back together. <coughs> Even though in each stanza the first line is normally something that the wife is trying to do to heal her husband in some way, mind and attend, and in the second it's normally declining the extent or describing sorry the extent of the husband's wounds the structured rudder of the shoulder blade so there we've got quotations picked up we've got the stretch uh, the the structures actually mentioned and uh, the effect and it's actually tied into the meaning okay so it's actually tied to the meaning there so they've actually explained why the structure is linked to the meaning and that is obviously the whole way you answer the question because remember the meaning is actually the prime part in this so the structure in quick draw builds a story up from start to finish with the story reaching a climax at the end the poem starts quite slow paced where it is setting the scene with western imagery and then the poem explodes into life like uh, something with the sheriff like a gun battle sorry with the sheriff loading locking on the form of the first three stanzas resembles the shape of a gun 
which reflects the danger and influence contained in the poem excellence so here we've got structure man mentioned again we've got the word in particular actually looked at the word sheriff and obviously what it does and then we're building that and obviously at the beginning it says that it helps us build the actual scene and we know what he's referring to there with the western imagery so we've got the, the images mentioned as well so so far so good and we've got our quotations in there as well armitage uses many different vivid images in his poem to express the feelings husband's feeling he also talks about the amount of physical torture he has endured the narrator says feel the hurt of his grazed heart so we've got the image there again um to be interpreted that eddie has been hurt severely emotionally from his experiences and something it has affected his relationship with his wife the use of the word heart so specifically looking at that word there in language the use of the word heart signifies not only the lifeline and the pivotal energy system of his body but also the love he had and still has for his wife excellent you see he's done that twice now he's actually looked into something um in two forms okay that's that's really good anytime you analyze something the more you can get out of a single word the better um the wife is seeking the pain uh, or with her husband or sorry feeling the pain with the husband feel the hurt so the reader can empathize and understand effect on the reader good okay so effect on the reader and there was actually other stuff is actually like you know the shape of the gun which emphasized the danger actually i should have put that as effect on the reader as well so remember it's basically the effect when i talk about the effect in the poems i just try and give you like more ideas to actually talk about but the effect is obviously what it gets us thinking about what it makes us feel so obviously here it gets us thinking about the danger and here where it's actually meant to us, um da -da -da, so the reader can empathize so it actually makes us feel and understand da -da 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 -da. so so far so good um and in the in meaning part obviously every time anytime we say anything about this we're always answering the question so this could be emotion you know, the the emotion and <clears throat> being severely hurt by his emotions that's obviously part of the the meaning as well because that's referencing to whatever our question was um the roller coaster emotions that the couple are, couple are going through on a deeper level a grave is normally something that he da -da 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 -da, are going through a grave is normally something that could be something and heal over time a grave a graze sorry is normally something that could be nurtured and healed over time but if not dealt with correctly could end up as a scar which reflects how close their relationship is to breaking point really really good analysis and that's just developed the analysis of that that word uh, that phrase sorry really fast so that's just an extension of the um, language there um similarly in quick draw duffy uses vivid uh, so we've got similarly so he's used similarly oh god i spelled it wrong sorry guys um uh, similarly again quick door doffy uses vivid imagery to express how close the couple's relationship is to the end so similarly also use the imagery so the images is actually being explored again and uh, the link is actually made very clear so the, look he's got a mark or he or she sorry he's got a mark there simply for using similarly because it's actually hitting one of the descriptors that they actually have to make a, a obvious comparison this shows that although there is a positive side to the quote kiss the words that are being said are extremely hurtful to the read for the word bullet implies so looking at language again the word bullet implies that the struggle is slowly killing the speaker and she can't deal with it the mm, something this the shot that the bullets are silver something that the bullets are silver means that they are strong enough to destroy anything even the strongest of relationships because silver bullets are renowned for being able to kill any type of beast that's a good interpretation that's well that's well taken um similar something also implies that there is still hope for the relationship because is precious or oh, silver sorry also implies that there is still hope for the relationship because silver is precious and because of the expression um every cloud has a silver lining that is it hasn't been ticked or actually marked there um which is a shame because i think that first one i actually really like this um maybe they haven't lent into a um, moved into it uh, in a in a in, in the best way possible but the actual the idea the interpretation i really like the idea there um the first one obviously they've got um an analysis for that they've got a tick for that but maybe the examiner has grade in it but just not put it in but i like the interpretation there i think it's quite adventurous and i definitely think it's something that would be getting marked up for um but anyway in the manhunt armitage oh sorry so obviously there we're looking at the 
language again. Extension of the language. In the manhunt, Armitage uses interesting metaphor to describe the feelings of Eddie. He says the something of metal beneath his chest. This could mean the pressure of the couple's relationship is growing inside of him, um, much like a factory. A fetus, I believe it's fetus, is also a symbol. Sorry, a factory is also a symbol for life and joy. Uh, sorry. I think I've read that wrong. It's not factory. It might be fetus there and fetus there. Apologies. I'll read that again. In the Manhunt, Armitage <clears throat> has an interesting metaphor to describe the feelings of Eddie. He says the... That must be fetus then. The fetus of metal beneath his chest. This could mean that the pressure of the couple's relationship is growing inside of him, much like a fetus. Okay, so we've got the language analysis there. Let's focus on that again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, fetus is a symbol of life and joy. Well analyzed. It's usually it is unusually oh, excuse me, but something this actually opposite of what it's for. The word metal seeks the pain and suffering, reflects the pain and suffering Eddie has gone through at war and in harsh, gruesome image that makes the reader feel quite taken aback because the section of metal is near his heart. It's something so much his heart as it grows it uh, you can guess read that sorry which reflects his pain is passing on to his relationship in quicksilver duffy shows that the two people almost want to hurt each other other than other rather than help each other she says the trigger of my tongue wider the mark the use of the word trigger suggests that the couple are deliberately trying to hurt each other's feelings by sorry so i've actually added this part in here so here we had another image mentioned and here we had more language mentioned um, this user trigger suggests that deliberately trying to hurt each other is feelings hurting something at each other something at each other's hearts that only they know something <laughs> why that how to Ah, oh, the only they know how to. Why do the marks suggest that the remarks don't always hit home, which means there is some promise for the couple? Good. In conclusion, so we looked at it one way, and what's good about that is they looked at it the other way as well, like they did with the silver bullet thing earlier. So I think that's that's very clever. Um, in conclusion, Duffy and Armitage both use similar themes in their poems. The breakdown of the couple's relationship is a key feature, and provides the background and storyline for them both both are raising inner issues on how couples deal with uh, obstacles in their relationships both are about the hope that is still there for them but both but sadly both end with a negative tone that the struggle will carry on so if we look at what we were supposed to take from smile then we see that the just so you can see where a lot of the strength in this was a lot of the images and language were analyzed and then the meaning was touched upon but obviously it's it's the image analogies sorry that convey the meaning that really come across so he summed it up he or she summed it up really well in this last part here where they've actually discussed what the elements were and what that got that got a 30 a 32 sorry out of um 36 so that's the lower end of a six um and you can you can see why like yeah there's a lot of stuff in there um there's been a couple of comments um even private ones as well just about that some of this stuff isn't um doesn't look as strong as you expected it to be for for an a star Do, try and remember that what, what you you, what you're looking at is something that hits the descriptors if you're expecting to be wowed every time then perhaps you'd be better if you, if you were the person that you know wrote, wrote the, the wow worthy stuff that would be excellent but here we're just looking at stuff that hits all the descriptors and gets us the marks and again I um, also just wanted to show you as I mentioned earlier that the actual linking things that they actually sh uh, did there were very similar were very simple like unlike in similarly didn't even use in contrast it was it focused on one or two contrasts but it was mainly similarities and then it kind covered all the kind of points from smile you know developing the meaning again and again and again and looking at language in so many different ways because if you remember and i've gone through it in one of the other videos the actual mark scheme says that you can go through language and or 
structure and or form and or etc 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 so you really can do in any one of them however getting it all in just is going to just show that you've got wider wide knowledge wider uh, wider insight and that's what you want to be able to do so i hope that was useful sorry for the uh, it was difficulty in reading the writing there at times um but um yeah i just hope that reassures you as well somewhat that smile is actually very useful in uh, analyzing the the poems uh, good luck with the exam